So good morning and welcome to Chemistry at Tesco's. Um, we're gonna, I'm just going to show you what a monomer is and a polymer is. Well, a mono trolley and a poly trolley maybe. So, if you have a look behind us, we've got loads of trolleys, okay? This you might consider as a monomer. It's one trolley on its own, a poly, oh no, a mono trolley, okay? Here we are. One trolley. Here we are, here's another. Monomer, another trolley on its own, existing on its own, one. Mono trolley. <laughs> Here we are again. Here's another one, another mono trolley. Monomer, the equivalent of a monomer, one small unit of a long chain. As you can see, we've got three, four, five monomers. All each one of those operates on its own. It's one single unit, a monomer. Mon for like one, like mono brow, mon omer. I'm now gonna go and get our monomers together and see if we can make a polymer. Okay, so. So as you can see, we've now got the monomers all lined up, okay? These are single units on their own, so we've got each trolley can be seen as a monomer. They, they are acting individually on their own, okay? There we have the monomer. So now let's put the polymer together. Put those units together. Let's go with some addition polymerization. of trolleys which have now been formed together to make one long chain polymer. Here we go, so now that polymer now acts one molecule. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, 